Hey guys, my name is Deep Free. Welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle Time Machine. It's been a while. Like, it has. Uh, I'm going to get back to doing some of my other series I haven't done in a while. I'm not going to talk about what they are, but I've been getting requested repeatedly. Hey, bring this back. So, we're going to get back to doing some of those. Uh, so, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this. Subscribe if you are new for more content, of course. And honestly, if you're not familiar with what Time Machine is, it's just a chill thing, man. It's not something that is like a gameplay or anything like that or discussion. It's just me chilling and talking to you guys and kind of reminiscing on some really old units that I... Well, maybe old, maybe not old. Depends on how I feel. But they were integral in basically shaping who I am as far as Dokkan Battle is concerned today. So the one we're going to talk about is my literal first card that I ever chased in this game with the wallet, with the power of the credit card uh, or debit card. The first SSR I pulled, the very first natural SSR, AGL SS2 as Super Saiyan 2, Teen Gohan in the Goku outfit. Oh, that's my favorite version of Gohan, bro. I mark out over that every time. I, You know, BoJack Unbound wasn't like the best movie, but it's my favorite movie. because Simply because that Gohan SS2 in that outfit looks so clean, bro. Uh, this guy recently got an awakening on Global like a month ago or something like that. A month and a half ago. JP got it a few months ago. The AGL guy. You guys have seen him, right? So anyways, we're not going to really show him off here. It's just you guys enjoy the fighters gameplay. Uh, I recorded this during the beta, if you're wondering. Anyways. So, Gohan, I started playing uh, literally when the, ooh, this is probably the worst banner that ever came to this game, Super Saiyan Festival. So, that banner came out like two months after the game dropped or whatever, a month and a half uh, after the guaranteed SR, like, you know, per multi thing was, guaranteed, was brand new and it was like awesome guaranteed Ginyu Force member banner and stuff. Oh my god, this game had a really dark past. Like you people that play the game now and complain about it. Oh my god, this game has come a long way since then. Um I started playing way back then, like right before this banner for Bojack Unbound basically dropped. And I remember like I'm gonna give you guys some insight. I've I've talked about this before. I remember going ham on that Super Saiyan Festival banner. Like Spent like maybe 800 stones or something like that and not getting a single SSR. The rates were that bad. You had below like a 3% chance. Like it was like so abysmal. I think it was like 2% chance of pulling an SSR back then. And it was horrible, man. It was so hard. And that banner had like, you know, one of the best cards in the game at the time the str super saiyan bardock and things like that and i'm like man i wanted this you know the intelligence trunks future trunks that rebirths now like you know all those really really old cards the original super saiyan cards the tech vegeta super saiyan all that man i was like i wanted these guys so bad um but i didn't get any of them so my first like awakenable sr card that turned into an ssr was one of the first ones actually to get that dokkan awakening mechanic and it was STR, Bar uh, not Bardock, Bojack. So he wound up being full power Bojack, STR wound up being like my first true SSR in the game. But Gohan was my first pullable one. So you may be wondering, well, D-Free, how did this happen? Well, Gohan had a banner he was featured on as the new SSR, his introductory banner. And I believe the SR Bojack was actually on the banner, of course, as a summonable unit, as an SR. And then they also brought out the story mission for that, the Bojack story mission. We can farm that physical Super Saiyan 1 Gohan in the Goku clothes. Uh, he needs a rebirth, by the way. He's a very solid old school unit. He was very good for a long time. So anyways, you can farm that guy up and that mission came. So I remember, like, I did some really, really old sub videos. If I can remember, like, where they were, like, I, I'll probably put them at the end of this. If, if I do, uh, I'll put them at the end of this video. But that was when I had first started putting the content on YouTube as well. Because I had started my channel, like, literally, like, a month prior to that. So I'm sitting here like, okay, well, I'm pulling on this banner. Oh, man, I'm not getting this Gohan. I'm, like, 300 stones deep. I'm not getting this Gohan. Still not getting this Gohan. I'm pulling, like, so many Bojacks and, like, a whole bunch of R cards and garbage. Like, just stuff you just do not want, right? I was getting a whole lot of Tech Beerus. I think he was in the game at that point, too, if I recall correctly. And I'm like, you know what, Gohan? 
Fine. I'm going to go ahead and leave this alone. I've basically farmed all my story stones in the Super Saiyan Festival banner. So I'm just going ham with the credit card. Ham with the credit card. Don't worry about how much I spent on the game because it's irrelevant. Because the game profits the channel. So I don't really care about that. Just, just know that we make more than we actually output. So that's how this all works. Especially if you have a side job. And then especially if you pay taxes. Because it's a tax write-off. Because it's a work-related expense. Technically buying stones. If you're into all that. If you know... It doesn't matter how much we spend because it basically comes back. Anyways, uh, so I was like, you know, I'm going ham with the credit card. I'm not going to give you guys the exact numbers. <laughs> so I, I couldn't get him. I could not get the Gohan. And what wound up happening is like, okay, you know, I'm going to go play the story mission. Since I can't get the AGL one, I'm going to go and play the story mission. And I pick up the physical one. You know, I'm gonna, I got to feel good at some kind of way about this. And I pick up the physical one and I farm him up to... No, 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 actually, this is before I knew about the importance of farming units. I got him an SA-1 and I, was, I felt so accomplished and I awakened him and everything. I felt so good. And what happened was... Literally, I'm at work at this point, right? I'm working the early shift at uh, at a company. I'm not going to talk about that. Uh, I'm walking the early shift. Nobody is there yet. I'm working there, and I'm literally the opening shift. And I'm working on a computer because I'm in a computer company. And I, I got my computer plugged in, and I'm like, okay, well, it can actually pick up my phone and record my phone. And I was like, you know what? I want to put out a video. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put out a video. But I was like, I want to commentate on it, too. So I... I go to the back, I pull up my laptop actually, and then like my laptop, microphone, and all that stuff. And it's like a one minute summon video, like I said, it'll be at the end of this, if I can find it. And I'm like, you know what, this is my last actual attempt on this banner. I will not try to pull on this banner again, because I believe the banner was actually about to leave, okay? I think the banner was literally about to leave, and I had to get to working anyway. I had been kind of postponing working, but my boss wasn't there, so like I didn't get in trouble, so I was good. <laughs> Uh, and I'm like, you know what? I'm talking to my friend. My friend S is what I'm gonna call him in this. I had like literally, he, he he was the one that like was really important to my early development with the game and helping me figure out important things about the game. And at that point, it was blatantly obvious you should play the Japanese version because the rates were significantly better in the Japanese version of the game at that point. Nowadays, they're basically the same rates. Uh, whether you choose to believe it or not, it's factual. Um, so, like I said. He, he, he was very integral for that. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go one more time, bro. Wish me good luck. Wish me good luck. And he was like, all right, man. Uh, and then I go multi, no nothing. And I'm like, okay, okay, last one, last one, last one. Because when you get that credit card in you, man, when you start going, you're like, okay, I'm going to pull once. That one's happy. You don't get, okay, I'm going to go one more time. You don't get what you I'm going to go one more time. Like, you don't get what Okay, just the last one. Just the last one. Okay, one more time. <laughs> So after about three rounds of that, bro, and that's still a problem to this day. And the problem is that I know it's a problem, but I can't help it. So whatever. As long as I'm having fun and I'm enjoying it, I don't care how much I spend on this. As long as I can take care of my family and do what I need to do, pay my bills. I'm good, man. I'm a grown man. I can do what I want to do. Um, so I, uh, I was like, you know, last one for real. I actually have to get to work. It's been a while. It's been like 30 minutes at this point. 30 minutes of pulling is a lot of pulls, by the way. Um, and lo and behold... The Gohan actually popped up. I think he was the very last card in the multi. I think he was the very last card in the multi. He was so good at that point of the game, too, because at that time, you didn't have all these crazy key leaders. Like, everything was like, oh, random, like, AGL, STR, and tech types get 10% more attack. And this is like HP and defense. Not even HP, just attack and defense. Just attack. It, all those really, really old units had crazy leader skills like that. They didn't offer a key, really. Uh, and then the best leaders in the game at that point were like attack plus 25% attack to all types. Like, that's way back. Those were the best leaders in the game before key base leaders came out, like two key leaders. So, I don't know, man. When I got that Gohan, I felt so fulfilled. And I treasured that guy, and I held on to that guy, and I continued to build my account. This is actually global, by the way. I started off with global way back so that i didn't play jp for like a year i honestly resisted it because i was like i can't i don't care about it i don't like how i can't read it and us all the minor pet peeves and stuff like that that could be really big issues for a lot of people that don't want to convert over but then you realize like translations and stuff isn't that big of a deal this is why i still do it to this day so anyways that's it my experience with the gohan of course i'm still using him to this day so 
awesome unit. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any recommendations for a future one, let me know in the comments. I will try to do it. The problem with that is I can't guarantee that I will do it because it depends on whether or not I have like a story to tell you guys about it, right? I, if it's somebody like just a unit I randomly pulled, I don't really have a story for it, you know? Like Super 17 on Global just the other day, like I got him within 300 stones. I'm still working on awakening him because I'm being slow about it. Boom done <laughs> i don't have a story so it depends anyways thank you for tuning in thank you guys for the continued support almost 100k hashtag krillin it if you made it to the end of the video and if you want to watch more videos watch the ones after the summon they're going to pop up after the summon if that's there so anyways awkward moment peace out guys hey what is going on guys it's d free and i am back with another dokkan battle summoning um yeah this is just my test run going um this is i mean i always kind of just do this just give myself a little test run just for just for good luck um so yeah let me know if you guys play dokkan battle as well this game is highly addicting it's very very fun but it's highly addicting so i'm going today i'm trying to get super saiyan 2 gohan this is the last day that the event is going to be up um, as you see here, obviously, I, uh, need to get rid of some cards. I don't have enough room, but today is the last day that the event for the BoJack, uh, summoning event, I forget what it's called. Uh, we'll go back there in a minute, but I'm just selecting a few cards here. That, today's the last day for the third time saying it, that that event will be open. So I'm trying to get him. I already got BoJack, um, so I'm just like, screw it. I'm gonna do a single summon for here as well. Ooh, Super Saiyan, give me some good, give me some good, give me some good. Come on, give me some good. Give me some good. <laughs> I held it extra long, just just for good luck. Ugh. The Super Saiyans get me the rares. Oh boy. Oh, I just now noticed. Did I say single summon? I meant to say uh, multi. And I've I got another Chi Chi, another Chi Chi, another Chi Chi. Come on, give me something good, yo. Oh, another one. Really? For real? Come on now. C come on, for real? Fuck! Three SRs and nothing good. Fucking A, fucking A, fucking A. Oh boy, oh boy, why? Such a waste of stones. This event is no bueno. It's not a good event. That is not a good event. Fuck it, I'm just gonna do some more summoning. Like, come on now. I'm like not even in a good mood now because I can't believe I wasted all of those dragon stones. Um, obviously this is gonna be a shit summon because this is just a, a standard summon. Oh, I can't believe I wasted all those dragon stones. I didn't get in my freaking Gohan either. Ah! Fuck! One more time. Screw this shit. I swear to God. Oh my goodness. Let's just do this one. Give me the good one. Give me Gohan. Give me Gohan. Give me Gohan. Come on. Uh oh! oh. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Peace out, guys.